In this video, I'm going to show how you do a simple analysis in the Parachrome software by creating a new method, a new calibration table, then drawing a calibration graph from the standards and finding the concentration of the samples. If I click through the various injections I've done, you can see I have one major peak here. If I try to analyse the data, analyse all runs, you can see that the contamination before 2.4 minutes is getting in the way of the integration. I need to discard the peaks of all the runs and I'm going to create a new method in here. In here I'm going to type in 2.4 minutes and between 0 and 2.4 minutes I want the integrator to be off. After 2.4 minutes the integrator is going to be on. Whilst I'm here I can show you that if you go to method expert integration you have extra control over the integration. For example you can set a minimum area in here so that the software won't integrate peaks that are below this area. Now I've created my method I can save it. Go to save method as I call it method 1. I'm now going to go to window sample table which gives me a list of all the runs or the injections that have been done. I want to set the method used for each of the run to my method 1 I've just created. I've told the software to use method 1 for each of the runs. I can look at the chromatograph and now when I analyse all the runs the peak is well integrated on each of the runs. If I click window peak report, I can see that the retention time of my peak is 2.92 min minutes. So I'm ready to create a calibration table. I go to data, new calibration, and here in the retention time, I'm going to type in 2.92 minutes. The tolerance is going to be 2%. This peak is a chloride peak. I like it filled in blue. The response I'm going to choose is uh, quadratic and in the amount I'm going to have three levels so I want to add two more levels into here. The amount for level 1 is going to be 1 ppm for level 2 it's going to be 5 ppm and for level 3 it's going to be 10 ppm. I've now created my calibration table so I can go to file save calibration as and I'm going to save this as calibration 1. I can now go to the sample table and for calibration used for all of the runs I want to enter my new calibration 1. When this has been done, I can start entering the sample names. Run 1 is my blank. Run 2 is 1 ppm chloride. And I can continue filling in the rest of the sample names. When all of the sample names have been filled in, I must remember to set the blank as a data run and also my two samples here as data runs. These are the three standards for chloride 1. These are level 1. For the 5 ppm, I've got to set these to level 2. And runs 8, 9, and 10, these are the 10 ppm standards. They must be set to level 3. The software is now reminding me that. Uh, I've changed things. Earlier runs have been changed. It needs analysis. Before I can uh, analyze the run, I can click File Verify to check if there are any problems. And it's gone through it and seen that there are no problems in here. So I can analyze all the runs. 
I can now click on my calibration table. This is my calibration table here. If I click on this tab, it will show the calibration graph. For peak, I've got to choose chloride, version, after run 10. And you can see that the software has drawn a calibration graph using the free repeat of the free standards. Here are my amounts. Here are the average values. If I go to my chromatograph, I can now click on peak report. And you can see the software has entered in the amount in here. So as I click through, this is the 10 ppm chloride, the 5 ppm. And if I click on 11 and 12, these are the amounts here for my two samples.